This week on C Plus News Time, Hulu and Sarah Silverman are going topical. A new comedy app laughs its way to the bank with some new executives, and the head writer of The Tonight Show is branching out into his own thing. I have to admit, I've been wanting to branch out into my own thing for a long time now. C Plus Comedy is great and everything, but isn't it time I started my political talk show, Poli Sci with Chad White? My first target is that do gooder, Chris Hayes. You hear that, Hayes? You may be a nice guy with a son solid grasp on the political landscape around us, but I'll be damned if you have an interview with Phoebe Robinson before me. Now let me check my recent podcast. Hayes, you son of a bitch! And scene. If you like that joke, you'll love the next few minutes of this. C Plus News Time. Great show tonight, guys. Really great. Super awesome. It's C Plus News Time. Delivering to you the news you didn't know about, the news you didn't care about, and the news you didn't know you cared about. With host, Chad White. Now, here's that host, Chad White. One of Atlanta's highways exploded last week, and now I can't get to Magic City. Daddy needs to drop some singles, and I'm not talking about dollars. Ugh. Grow up, guys. Well, welcome back to C Plus News Time. I'm your host, Chad White, and this is the comedy news they didn't know about for the week of March 27, 2017. First up, Hulu is taking a chance on late night. Sarah Silverman will host a new topical show called I Love You, America, with the help of Funny or Die. That's a trio of media based juggernauts, so hopefully, this turns out well enough. So far, only 10 half-hour episodes have been ordered for the series that will talk about the political landscape of the great nation. Interestingly, Deadline reports this show was highly sought after, but they decided to go with Hulu, a streamer that is desperately missing out on the talk show game. No release date has been announced. Next up, Laughly, a new streaming stand-up comedy app, hired three people for its behind-the-scenes area. Let's take a step back, though. Laughly, the rap writes, is strictly an app that holds only stand-up comedy. People like Kevin Hart and the aforementioned Sarah Silverman have most, if not all, of their specials on it. The website even informs that new comedians have their stuff on there as well. The app's apparently been around since 2016, but it's a solid way of finding new and old favorites. Any Hooser, the three new hires are Mark Seaman, who will be head of programming and original content, Kelly Anakin, whose role is head of product, and Elliot Peters, who, is, who gets to play acting general counsel and strategic advisor. Each one of them has a place in the comedy or audio world. Seaman created the Laugh Button, a website that I see as my number one threat in terms of comedy sites. Anakin was a senior producer at Rooftop Media, which is the mom corp of Rooftop Comedy, a service that records and licenses comedy performances. And Peters is a lawyer as well as a digital media and tech executive. He was general counsel for RDO, did some stuff for Warner Music where he was assumed the senior VP. So it looks like Laughly got all the help it needs. You know guys, I'm not exactly married to C plus comedy. For the right price I could, no, never mind, never mind. I would not sell my soul to an app just so I could have money. How about this? Invest just a single dollar and I'll work for you forever. No, 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 no. Stop it Chad. We've been through this never again. And finally, Tonight Show writer A.D. Miles is done with The Tonight Show. While he left amicably to work on his own junk, I still think it's funny to sensationalize it. Miles, who viewers will know as the dad from those EW videos, for instance, wants to get more into narrative projects. He's been with the show for eight years, so it only stands to reason that he'd want something a little bit more substantive. Games and lip syncs can only go so far. Here's the thing, he and Fallon are still good buddies who will work on an animated movie together. Neat, right? Let's hope it's not Dougal all over again. Miles had a tongue-in-cheek farewell statement where he said he'd only gotten by because of Fallon's coattails. He's in good spirits about the decision before he moves his family from New York to LA. Miles has already appeared in several projects in his career from Wet Hot American Summer to Reno 911, so it's not like he's going in dark. And that's all the news I have for you for this week on C Plus News Time. Why don't you subscribe and check out one of our other videos? Of course, you can always head to the website cpluscomedy.com where we've got the latest news, reviews, features, interviews, and other good comedy bits that only I can provide you with. Follow us on Twitter at C Plus Comedy. Follow me on Twitter 
at Chad Black White. Like us on Facebook, talk with us on Tumblr, and lastly, seriously, you can hire me. I'll be your junior VP of, of juniorness. I have a lot to offer the company, and this is my resume. C plus news time. Goodbye.